Hi guys and welcome to Vesna TV. Thank you so much for stopping by. For today's video I'm going to show you how to make some metal look bunnies for Easter using mostly trash to treasure and Dollar Tree items. For the first bunny I want to make kind of like a background like a metallic look background so I'm going to be using this metallic spray paint and I'm going to spray just a piece of black cardstock. I'm not showing you what it looks like when I spray it, but what I'm actually going to do is spray paint it outside and then while it's still wet, I'm going to dab off a little bit just using a wet paper towel and like basically just kind of dab on and off. I should have recorded this, but I did not. It was really cold outside, so I didn't. While the background is drying, I'm going to work on the bunnies. So what I'm using is one of these forms, which is like the ornament wooden bunnies from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be staining it using the Rust-Oleum Decorative Glaze in Java. And how I stain these, basically I just take a rag and I rub a little bit of the glaze on. So I kind of rub on, rub off, add more as I need it just to get the stain to be a little bit richer. Or if you don't want it to be so dark, you can always wipe it off so it's a little bit lighter. I then decide that I wanna fill in that little hole too where the string is supposed to go for the ornament. So I just use a little bit of wood filler to fill it in and then I go over top of the wood filler with the decorative glaze. So I wanted this bunny to kind of look like old wood and I was trying a different method of distressing it. It didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. I used some baby oil. I read somewhere that this would work, but it didn't. Maybe it does for some people. It didn't work for me. So I used a little bit of baby oil and I just dabbed it in spots where I thought that I would want the aging to come out. And then I painted the bunny in white. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the footage of me painting the bunny in white, but I just used my decorative no my rust-oleum chalk linen white paint and paint it over the bunny in the white just like a nice lighter coat not too thick and then once that dried I went ahead and I tried to remove in the spots where I had put that baby oil I tried to remove it just by rubbing it off with a rag it wound up removing a little bit more than I originally thought it would but I really did like the way it came out but it was just more of the regular distressing that I normally do anyway which is I would paint something darker at the bottom and then paint a lighter coat at the top and then just sand it off so I guess if you didn't want to use sandpaper or didn't have it and had baby oil and needed something to work this would work as well so I just kind of took off to make the bunny look like it was aged and kind of been through a lot. And here I'll show you what the background looks like as well, like the little 
kind of frame or whatever that I was creating for the bunny. So here it is. It looks quite like aged galvanized steel. And I'm just going to hot glue my bunny that I've gotten to be distressed as much as I wanted it to be. And I'm going to just be gluing him onto here. And then I'll just be creating kind of like a just like a little effect there with the bunny where I cut around to make it look like he's sitting on galvanized steel. And so that's all there is to this little guy. He's really cute. To me, he looks like he's, you know, perched up on some galvanized steel, has a little bit of depth to him. I'm going to be adding a little cube at the back for him to be able to sit in a tray where I'll kind of have him sitting in some grass. I also wind up adding a little bow just around like where his neck is just for him to look a little bit cuter. But anyway, here he is. I will be adding this little guy into my tiered tray. As I mentioned before, I'll be propping him on some grass. You can see all of that when I post my Easter home tour. And that'll be over on my home channel. I've also got my spring tour there as well. Um, that's already posted, so check that out too. So if you are brand new to my channel, my name is Vesna and this is my DIY channel, Vesna TV. On this channel, you can see how I create many different decor items for my home. I don't sell these things. I create everything for my home. We had moved a few years ago into a bigger house, much bigger house. So, uh, and I love to decorate seasonally. So I have decided to kind of create all of my own things. And I thought I'd show you, maybe give you guys some inspiration and some ideas on how I create these things. Again, I use them all throughout my home. I might wind up switching them out. I think this is a great way for me to save some money because to buy all these things, it would be quite expensive and I like to do everything on a budget. Everything is either Dollar Tree, Trash Treasure, or Thrifted or things that maybe were handed down to me that I've kind of redone. It's the same thing with, my, with furniture. I love furniture flips and all of my furniture is secondhand like the wood pieces, so I like to redo them and make them beautiful again. It keeps them out of the landfill, saves me money, and I find that you get better quality that way too. Some of the older stuff is a lot better quality and you can make it kind of your own. So if that's the kind of stuff you like, check out my channel, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, look through my videos. I've got tons of inspiration pieces. I've been around, I've been doing this, well, I've been recording videos for about a year now and posting them to YouTube. So there's quite a bit there. I try to post twice a week. I've been trying to be on a schedule, but with having a full-time job and two little kiddos, sometimes that schedule gets thrown off or if there's certain friends, YouTube creator friends that are doing challenges or something like that. And I want to support them or particip participate I might switch up the days so for now usually it's Tuesday Wednesday and Friday Saturday sometimes Sunday just depends so again check out my channel hit that notification bell so you get notified when I have new videos and but know there's at least two videos every week sometimes three and leave me a comment let me know that you stopped by my channel again thank you so much for watching and for stopping by and let's continue with the second bunny so this little guy i'm not as happy as i thought i would be with him but i thought i'd show you because i i think it's a good idea i just maybe should have used better quality aluminum foil i'm not sure so what i'm doing is i'm taking aluminum foil and again another one of these ornament bunnies from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be using some E6000 because I find that that kind of helps that aluminum stick best and I'm going to be wrapping him in the aluminum foil. I've seen this people use the aluminum tray the you know, like the barbecue trays that you can get the aluminum ones I wanted to really use the foil, so maybe it does work better with the trays, but he, he doesn't look bad. I just, I don't know how I feel about him yet. 
So I'm just wrapping him up in this aluminum foil. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe you guys think he's awesome or maybe you think he's, you know, a total dud. Let me know. I thought I'd show you anyway. So I'm wrapping him up in here, adding glue as I need it. Um, hot glue wouldn't really work too well. It doesn't work so well with the aluminum foil. So I wrap him up and then I cut off where I need to cut off and fill in where the aluminum foil. And I think that was the, the problem was because it kept on ripping in pieces. So anyway, I do that. And I'll show you the whole process, but I'll speed it up a bit. So once I have him all covered, I decide that I want him to kind of look a little bit rustic and aged, not so shiny. So I add a, a little bit of some brown espresso acrylic paint mixed with the gold acrylic paint, kind of mixed a few of them together to, I wanted kind of like a copper bronze effect. I had this copper gilding wax but it had dried out. I'm not sure why it dried out, whether I didn't close it properly, but it completely dried out. So I was kind of trying to make a copper look paint or a bronze look paint with this. So just added a few. I wound up adding just the brown and then I added a little bit of the gold just to get that look. And then I thought I added too much, so I kind of removed a little bit and played around with it. And maybe this is where I think it went wrong. Maybe I shouldn't have added so much. I should have dealt it down with some black and white and blue paint but again let me know what you think once i finished painting him i wanted to add some jute rope around him just to give him a little bit more detail and again i used the e6000 with a combination of hot glue again the hot glue really didn't do too much it was the e6000 that made it stick and I just glued the rope to the edges and kind of over top of the bunny. And I think I should have had a thinner rope that I put on as well. I'm telling you everything I did with this one, I was kind of second guessing myself, but I just wanted, like I said, I wanted to show you the idea and you guys can kind of take it from there and make it better or do it the same way if you like the way this turned out. Again, all my, my channel is about ideas. I'm not a professional. I just want to show you kind of the ideas that I have and you can take them and run with them, right? If you want to, or you can just watch for the sake of learning something new or whatever. After I added the rope, I wound up gluing two oh, a few little squares at the back of the bunny to have him stand up on his own kind of the same thing as i did with the other one because i will be using these guys in my tray decor i need them to stand on their own as i won't be propping well i might be propping them up against something but i might not be so i want them to be able to stand by themselves After I did that, I hot glued another 
round of jute rope just to the sides of the bunny and it was to cover any of the metal that might be showing from underneath or anything that might be peeking through and I used a hot glue gun for this because it was able to stick to part of the wood so it wasn't having a hard time sticking. So that's all there is to this guy. Like I said, I rubbed off a little bit of the paint because I wasn't too, too happy with it. I just, when I do the rubbing off, I usually use a wet wipe, like a baby wipe. Okay, so I kind of went back and I redid him a little bit. I wanted to take off that extra rope and then I wanted to breaking him a little bit and putting him back together. But here he is, kind of a different version of him. And here's the original version of him. Again, let me know what you think. I don't know how I feel about him, but maybe you will really like him. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to try it and what you'll do different if you do anything different. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't had a chance, check out my video from last week, from last Thursday. So this was a special day that I did a video. I participated in a friend hop where you watch all of our videos and leave us a comment and then you you by leaving a comment you're entered into a draw for a chance to win a paypal gift card so there is a giveaway which is kind of fun so make sure you check that video out as well i'll link it to the end here but it's my latest video before this one thank you so much and i'll have a new video saturday where I am doing all Dollar Tree Easter DIYs. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Stay safe. And thank you so much for watching and subscribing.